Today I want to share five very good tips when you are starting out with prompt engineering in ChatGPT or other language models and we're gonna go through how I create my prompts including all of these tips. So I think let's just get started. Okay so the first important thing we need to look at when considering designing a prompt is context 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 and this is super important like so contextual relevance is crucial for generating coherent and accurate response from ChatGPT. If we provide enough context that will help guide ChatGPT and it will really improve the quality of the generated content. If we don't have enough context ChatGPT might try to generate a response that is like off topic. It could be irrelevant or inconsistent with like the goal of our prompt. Therefore it's like crucial to consider contextual relevance when we are designing our prompts. Let's head over to ChatGPT and look at this. So here we have the prompt to generate a list of interview questions for a software engineer job in a tech startup with a fast paced culture for an entry level position. Break down the prompt above in a contextual relevance. The three contextual relevance that were created in this prompt was the software engineer job, the tech startup with a fast paced culture and the entry level position. So those are very important context when we are designing this prompt. So I would say like the more contextual relevance you can add to the prompt, the better will the, the better the prompt will be. Okay, so now let's run the prompt and see what this comes back with. Okay, so as you can see here now, we have 10 different questions that could be interview questions. Let's have a look at a few of them. So can you explain a technical concept you learned recently? How do you keep up with the latest technology advancements in software engineering? Can you describe your experience with version control systems such as JIT? Yeah, that looks good. Now let's check out our next Next up we have setting a task for ChatGPT. So the task definition sets like a specific goal or objective for ChatGPT to achieve. This requires like a clear understanding that the task is crucial for designing an effective prompt. And the task definition should be specific, concise and avoid ambiguity and or vagueness. And the task definition should always like align with the models or ChatGPT's capabilities. So let's say we had a large language model different than ChatGPT that only could produce code. Then there's no point giving a task to write an essay. So you get the point, right? And a clear task definition helps ChatGPT to understand what it's supposed to do and it will improve the quality of the generated content. So therefore, task definition is like a crucial factor when we are designing our prompt. Let's head over to ChatGPT again and look at this. Let's say we have the prompt write a romantic comedy screenplay. The main characters must be in their 20s. The story must take place in a small town. The main plot should revolve around the two main characters overcoming obstacles in their relationship while humorous situations complicate the story. The screenplay should include at least two songs. So let's break down the prompts into task definitions. And as you can see here, our prompt uh, includes five different tasks. So we have create two main characters, set the story in a small town, write a plot that revolves around the main characters, include humor, and integrate at least two songs in the screenplay. Here you can see these five tasks gives us a very specific prompt. So let's just run it and see what kind of uh, feedback this generates. Okay, so this looks quite good. So we have Joe, a handsome 25 year old. That's one task. And we have Jessica. So we have both our main characters. So yeah, there are some dialogue here. I guess it's supposed to be funny. Okay, so here we have song number one, Small Town Law. Yes, that was part of our tasks. I'm not gonna read this. Here we have song number two, Small Town Dreams. Yes, I think this filled up all our tasks. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, we had the main two characters. It was in a small town and it included two, two songs, so perfect. Now let's have a look at our next tip. So the third tip we have is specificity. So this is important and it refers to like the level of detail and precision we have in a prompt. And the more specific a prompt is, like the more likely it is that ChatGPT will generate like a, a targeted and very accurate response. So to achieve this specificity in a prompt, like important details such as 
what kind of type of journey or a question, the starting or ending points, characters involved, or any relevant background information should be specified. If we have these vague or general prompts, they can often lead to like off-topic, irrelevant, or very inconsistent responses from ChatGPT. So therefore, specificity is like crucial when we are designing our prompts because it improves like the quality and the relevance of the generated content. So again, head over to ChatGPT and take a look at this. So the prompt here we have is write a story about a character who embarks on a quest to find a lost magical artifact. Describe the journey they take, the obstacles they face and how they eventually find the relic. Be sure to include elements of adventure, suspense and danger, as well as details about the characters and the mystical creatures they may encounter along the way. Break down the prompt to analyze the specificity of the prompt. Okay, so here we have our story. Let's take a quick look at some of we wanted in his. So we have a main character, that was Arya, I think. Yeah, Arya. And we have some obstacles they faced along the way. I think I saw that. Yeah, they faced an army of dark creatures. They faced dark caves, ancient ruins across scorching rivers. Every step of the way they were met with new challenges and obstacles, so that was good. Yeah, and it seems like there's some dangers and suspense included in the story. So I can I can see that this kind of included everything we asked for, so that was very good. But now let's head over and take a look at our last tip. So the fourth tip we have is iterations. So iterations is like a crucial part of the prompt design process because the prompt design is always like an iterative process that may take like multiple attempts when we are trying to create an effective prompt. So these iterations involve refining and improving the prompt through cycles of design, testing and evaluation. So each iteration we do should be like guided of the results from the previous trials. So let's say we revisit the prompt to provide more specific instruction or additional context after we discover that it was maybe too vague or the chat GPT generated like an off topic response. So embracing an iterative approach allows for continuous improvement and optimization of our of the generated content. I would say like iterations is important to consider when you are designing your prompts. So therefore iterations is very important to consider when designing prompts. But if you want to create an effective, efficient and outcome aligned prompt, because it's very easy to just say write an essay about xx and that's it but you always need to iterate so you can go back change what you want to do so we're going to take a look at that uh, in the next step that is going to be how to design a prompt with these four factors we have looked at now in mind so let's take a look at a prompt that has taken these four factors in mind so this is what this could look like we're going to break it down but let's just start by looking at it so Generate a 300 word article for a personal development website that provides a comprehensive guide to increasing productivity. The article should cover various strategies and techniques and be written in a clear and concise style accessible to the general audience. To support your advice, utilize research and expert opinions from credible sources like ad academic journals and productivity experts. You should also incorporate relevant statistics, examples and case studies to illustrate your point and bring this bring the advice to life. Consider the potential challenges and obstacles in increasing productivity and offer strategies to overcome them. So this is a prompt that took all the previous factors we have in mind. So what is the context in the prompt? The, the context is like that the prompt is for a personal development website that is providing advice on how to increase productivity. So that is the context. The task definition is to generate a 300 word article that provides a comprehensive guide to increasing productivity. The article should cover a range of strategy as and technique and should be written in a clear and concise style that is accessible to the general audience. So that is our task definition. So here you can see the specificity is to use research and expert opinions from credible sources. And we should incorporate relevant statistics, examples and case studies. Also make sure to consider the potential challenges and obstacles to increasing productivity and provide strategies for overcoming them. 
So that is our specificity. And finally, we have the iteration guidance. So that is what we're gonna look at now. So here we have in the first iteration focus on improving the importance of setting clear goals and prioritizing tasks, discuss the benefits of goal setting. And we have a second uh, iteration, a third one and a final one. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna run this prompt and then we're gonna go through these four iterations and see how much that improves our output. Okay, so now let's just run the prompt and see what we get back here. Okay, so here we have it, our 300 word article about productivity. Let me just copy all of this now before we continue with the iterations. Head over to our Word document, just paste it in here like this. Just make some space here for the paragraphs. Okay, so here is basically the article now. Now let's incorporate some of the iterations. The first iteration is to focus on the importance of setting clear goals and prioritizing tasks. Discuss the benefits of goal setting and provide the practical tips for setting and achieving goals. Let's copy that, head back to ChatGPT and run that prompt. Okay, that looks good. Now write a H2 headline for the passage. Okay, so we have the power of goal setting. Let's just try that, copy that and head over and find our section about goal setting. So that is this one, make this our H2. Then go back to ChatGPT and grab all of this. Copy. Okay, so that looks good. Now we have expanded from one paragraph to four by just iterating our first prompt. So that looks very good. Now let's go on to the next one. In the second iteration, analyze the benefits of time management techniques such as the Pomodoro method and calendar blocking. Provide practical tips for implementing these techniques and discuss how they can increase productivity. Over to ChatGPT and paste that. And that was our second iteration done. Now we have a much better in-depth look at the calendar blocking and the Pomodoro method and how these can help you improve your productivity. Go back, copy the part about the Pomodoro method. We don't need a conclusion. Okay, so that looks great. Now we have a much more in-depth talk about time management, right? And now let's incorporate our third iteration. So in the third iteration, we wanna discuss the role of technology in increasing productivity. So consider both the benefits and drawbacks of using technology and provide advice on how to effectively use technology to boost productivity. So let's just copy that, boom, go back to ChatGPT, paste that. Here we have our iteration about technology and productivity. Remove the part about what we just iterated, paste the headline and just paste in our paragraphs. Now let's head over to the final iteration. And in the final iteration, we're gonna summarize the key takeaways from the article and provide a comprehensive guide to increasing productivity. Make sure to provide a clear conclusion and actionable tips for readers based on your findings. Paste that into ChatGPT and hit go. And here we have it, a very solid conclusion about our article. So we have some key takeaways, setting clear goals, time management, technology. So yeah, this looks very good. Now let's get that into our post and we are finished. Let's just paste that and have, now we have our conclusion. So now you can see we have a, let's see here, we have a 1245 word post about to how to boost your productivity. So this just show how important it is to include and iterate your prompts after you have done the initial post, right? So we went from kind of like this 300 word article up to 1200 words. So yeah, I think this turned out very good. So I hope this showed that spending a bit more time on your prompts can really reap benefits. I think it's really crucial to follow up with iterations. If your initial prompt is, nah, it's not so good and you didn't quite get the result you wanted, but if you have very good questions or iterations to follow up with, you can really get a good result anyway, as we saw from going from that 300 word article up to 1200 word. So hopefully this video gave you some inspiration. Be sure to check out my membership and my newsletter in the link below. And as always, check out this video if you enjoyed this one. Anyway, thank you for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.